Hi everyone, welcome to the I Am Epic inclusive 10 pin bowling session. So you're probably interested in seeing what this involves. It's a really simple and fun game that you can just do at home. So it can be done on the floor or on top of the table. Okay, so all the equipment we need for this is I'm going to use six different bottles. So if you've got 10, great. If not six, that'll be completely fine. So some milk cartons, empty plastic drinks bottles, anything like that is completely fine. Um, then we need a couple of items to use as bowling balls. So I've just got a couple of soft balls. If you haven't got those, um, anything that's round and light, um, you could even just screw up a ball of foil and try and get that as round as possible. And you can roll and throw that, okay? Um, for anyone that's unable to throw, we can use a makeshift ramp. So really simple to do, you just need a piece of cardboard, we fold it over and that's our ramp. And I'll demonstrate in a little while. So you just place the ramp down, and then you just release the ball down the ramp to go into the bottles, right? So I'm just gonna place that to the side. So we'll set the activity up first. We want to set the bottles up or whatever you're using as your skittles um, in a triangle shape. So we're gonna place one at the front. We have two behind that. And then three behind that one. And then you just need to be a small space apart. Like so, and if you've got 10, you can then put another row of four just behind the three at the back. Good, okay, so just have a little gentle warm up just to get our arms loosened up, ready before we start doing the bowling, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna loosen our shoulders up, so I'm just gonna lift our shoulders up and relax them back down again. So another two of those, shoulders up and down, and one more, shoulders up and down, good. Just do a few little gentle punches out in front. Good, okay, and I'm just gonna bring our arms up, relax them down. Bit of a Mexican wave, this one. Good stuff, okay, and then bring one hand across the opposite shoulder, back down, same with the other hand, opposite shoulder. Do a few of those each side. Good, one more each side. Back down there, fantastic, good. So we'll skip cracking on with the activity now, which I'm sure you're all looking forward to doing. And we'll mix it up as we go through. So there'll be different ways and different ways we're gonna throw the ball essentially. So we won't do it the same complete way. I'll set you a few little challenges just to make it a little bit more difficult, all right? So we get our two bowling balls. Then depending how, how much room you've got is how far you stand back. Obviously the closer you are to the bottles, the easier it is. So it's up to you how far away you want to stand really. So I'm going to come a couple of meters apart. So the first time we're going to throw it underarm. So we're going to roll or throw it underarm. And then you're going to use the hand that you prefer holding items with or the hand you draw with. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be doing it with my right hand, okay? So if you're using, if you're able to bowl it with your hand, you're just gonna slight bend in your knees, or if you do it on the tabletop, you can roll it across the top of the table. Then it's just a roll on the floor, knock them over. Got one on that first one, okay? I'll do a demonstration with the ramp as well. So if anyone's using the ramp, you can place it down on the floor just in front of you. Place the ball, we'll move the other one out of the way first. There we go, and roll it down. We'll do another two, so we've got three on that one. So three on my first go. So I'm just gonna set these up quickly. Good, so three there. So what I'm used to do now is pause the video, have a go yourself, see if you can beat the three that I had a go. And once you've had one go, come back, replay the video and we'll continue. Okay, so going on to our next go, we're gonna do the same again this time. So we're not gonna change anything just yet. So we've got our bottles reset up. So same, if you're right-handed, you're gonna roll it with your right hand, if your left hand have any left. You can bend down, underarm, 
got the same one as my first go. Let's move them all out of the way. Again, if you're using the ramp, also use the ramp for both goes if you need that. Second one, two, ooh, same score as my first go on that one. I've got three again. So I'm just gonna set them back up ready for the next go. Okay, so again, pause your video, have a go and come back and see if you can beat my three. Right, <clears throat> so this go, we're gonna change it up slightly. We're gonna do it with our other hand this time, all right? And for those that are using the ramp, you can do the same again, obviously rolling it down the ramp. So left-handed this time, so it should be more difficult. Obviously if you're left-handed, you're gonna do it in your right this time. So same again, one again. I think all the goes so far, I've hit that same front one over the first time. And two, and a three again. My favourite number. All right, set those up. Just find where the red one went to. Fantastic. So I'm being very consistent on my scores today. I've got three yet again. So pause the video, have your go, remembering to roll it with your other hand this time. Good. Okay. So we'll do that again. So. Same, underarm, throwing it with our opposite hand. So I'll be doing it with my left hand. So I'm gonna try and beat three this time. Got it every time so far. Ooh, ooh, three on the first go. What do you reckon? I can knock more than one over? Should be able to, shouldn't I? Ooh, just all went to two. So three plus a two, I managed five on that go. Nearly all over. Okay, so harder score for you to beat on that time. Um, so yeah, pause the video, have your go and come back and we'll continue after that. Right, good, I hope you're all doing well so far. So we've done about four goes already, doing it underarm. Um, so yeah, hope you've got some good scores. I wonder if anyone's got a strike here. I definitely haven't, but the last go got a little bit close, didn't I? So this time, for those that are throwing it, we're going to throw it over our wall like a dart. So that way, I'm going to demonstrate in a moment, that's the movement that you want. So we'll go back to the hand that you would normally throw or write with. So we can go that way. Again, those that are using the ramp, you can do it exactly the same way that we're doing already. So just rolling the ball down the ramp into the bottles or whatever you're using the Skittles. So again, you can just get more power doing it this way, hopefully. Ooh, four on the first one. Oh, and I missed the second one. I thought I was going to get a half strike that time. Let's clip those in. Okay, so again, pause your video, see if you can beat my score of four, and then we'll continue after that. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to do the same again. So still throwing it with a hand that we prefer to write or hold items with. I'm still going to do it that overarm dart-like throw, okay? Getting ready there. Ooh, four. Oh, half strike, all six over. I think it's the first time I've ever managed that. All six over. Can you do any better than that? See if you can equal, or, or can you can you beat it if you've got more than six, can't you, at the end of the day? But see if you can get six, see if you can do it all in one throw. It took me two goes to do mine. See if you can do them all in one. And then again, we'll pause the video and continue in a moment. I'm just gonna move my bottles back just quickly. Okay, yep, so have your next turn. Come back to me when you've had your turn. Good, right, so this time we're gonna go back to a hand that we don't normally write or throw with. So we're going, for me, I'm gonna use my left hand. We're still gonna do it 
overarm like that way. Again, those using the ramp, you can still do it the same way you've been doing. Ooh, that was a terrible one, wasn't it? Bounced in front. It's a lot harder if you do it this way. If it drops a bit short, it may bounce over top like that one just did. Ooh, it's a good recovery. Covered with four on that one. So it's going to stand the bottles back up. Nice. Okay. Again, pause your video, doing it over arm with your other hand, see how you do. Right. So next one, we'll do the same again. So with our other hand, throwing it over arm like that. Three on the first one. Oh, I missed that second one, didn't I? So three that time. Good, okay, and then pause your video, have your next turn. Brilliant, right, so this time we're gonna make it even harder still. So make sure there's no cheating on this one. So we can go back to the hand we normally throw our right with, so I'm gonna use my right hand. We're gonna go back to underarm, but this time you've gotta do it with your eyes closed. So just before you throw, so you can get in position, obviously keeping your eyes open, then just before we have you go, I'm just gonna put my arms over my eyes so I can't see. Ooh, one on that one. I'm going to do the same again. Just make sure there's no peeping, you can't see anything. Ooh, two. Well, I was quite happy with that. Two with my eyes closed. That's not easy, that one. So it's going to be a lot more difficult for you. So again, pause your video. Take your time in having your turn and then come back to me and replay the video after you've taken your game. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to have one last go. So we're going to do the same again, but with our other hand this time. So your non-writing, non-throwing hand. And again, we're just going to do it with our eyes closed. No cheating. So you get in the starting position. I'm just going to bring my other arm over my eyes. Or you can just close your eyes if you'd rather. Ooh, didn't quite knock over that one. Same again. And a one. So one on that one. So close. This has just got one over anyway. So again, pause the video, have your go, and then come back to me once you've done that. Good. So loads of different ways that we've done that activity. And obviously you can continue, have as many goes as you like, see what score you can get. Um, you might think of a different variation to throw it. So we've done a few different ones, underarm, overarm, with our eyes shut. But if you've got a different way of doing it, by all means, have a go. But hope you've all enjoyed the session. We're just going to have a couple of little stretches just to finish up. So first one we're going to do is to stretch our arms up just above our head. Just hold them there for a few seconds. You bring them down. And just a little stretch out in front. Good, and slowly bring the arms back, stretch in front of the upper body. Good, and bring the arms down. Good, and just one arm across, support the elbow with the other hand. Bring that down, same on the other one, other arm across, just support with the other hand. Good, and relax down there, give the arms a bit of a shake, you can give your legs a shake out too if you can. That completes our inclusive bowling session. So it's part of our I Am Epic weekend. So if you haven't signed up, get yourself signed up to take part in 30 minutes of activity during the weekend and you'll receive a free medal in the post. Thank you.